Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Hi, hello. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. Hello. I am here waiting for my fridge to shut up. Cause it's so loud so that I can continue recording the audiobook for a second story. <laughs> because I have been slacking and I'm so sorry. Cause I know I promised this audiobook early this year. And then my plan was to film it all through or record it all through November and December. And oh no, we are now January and I haven't done that. So, <laughs> you know, the only place I can record it is in the open air of my main room of my condo. So the sound is very interesting in here because like I tried just now to record it in my bedroom, but one of my neighbors had their laundry going and another neighbor had a TV going, even though like I was in a much more enclosed space and the enclosed space is quieter. I could like, my mic was picking up all that background noise and I was like, we're just gonna continue here because this is the best spot apparently and I have a few chapters recorded and I got part way through chapter three because I wanted to redo chapter three because I didn't like it very much from what I previously recorded. The motherfucking fridge is going off now. It's so noisy. Like you don't expect it to be this noisy or you don't notice it to be this noisy or no notice how noisy your place is until you start doing things that need complete silence like recording an audiobook. But yeah, the audiobook for A Second Story is coming. And then when that one's done, dusted and ready to go and released, I'm gonna do a little luck as well. I would just like to get a whole bunch recorded, a whole bunch of it recorded as much as I can in the snippets of time when my fucking fridge isn't making so much noise. <laughs> And then I can go and, and edit edit the audio clips because you have to edit it a specific way for it to be ready for ACX. Anyways, there is going to be an audiobook vlog whenever that goes up, <laughs> whenever it's finished. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to update you. It is a thing. It is happening. I am the one who's voicing it. I just don't, I straight up just don't have the money to pay people to do it. So I am doing it all myself. So, you know, free labor. We love it. We love to see it. I think it's going okay. I think I have a fairly okay voice to read books with. So anyways, happy Saturday. Also, I've been just hanging out. It's already four. Cleaned my place today a little bit. I like tidied and vacuumed and stuff. This weekend, what am I going to be reading? That's a great question. I'm going to be reading Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. I would like to get this done and dusted and completed. So I'm going to start really working on that today after I do a couple hours maybe of audiobook stuff until my voice starts dying, I guess. And then I'll tackle this bad boy. And once I'm done this one, I probably should jump into the third one. But if I want a little bit of a palate cleanser break, I also have The Salt Grows Heavy by Cassandra Kaw from the library. So I would really like to get to this. It is a very tiny, like two hour long audiobook on script. It is a horror novella. So I need to, I just, I'm so intrigued by this and I really need to read it. Getting getting more books done on my, on my TBR and on my shelves because I have so many library books stacked on my piano <laughs> that I need to get to. Also so many like actual TBR books, which is, this is also a library book. So today we're, this weekend is not a, a weekend of tackling the physical TBR, but it is, a, it is the tackling of a TBR in general. <laughs> but I'm excited to kind of get out of the foundry side stuff and then just read whatever I want for a little bit because I think I usually do uh, my friends pick my TBR in February, which is coming up really quickly. So, and because there's an extra day in February, I should probably do my friends pick my TBR this February. I think that's coming up, which should be okay. Should be fine. Hopefully my friends pick books that are like on my more recent TBR, ones that I really want to get to. If not, I will just have to read those and also supplement others in the meantime. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna be reading this weekend. Very fun, very exciting. I wanted to get back into audiobooking officially. I should also work on Aramount Book 3 today. At some point, think about it, do something, because I need to get back into the groove of that. I think I'm gonna start filming a writing vlog as well so that I can like, keep myself accountable because that's what I find with vlogs specifically. They keep me accountable. You guys keep me accountable and it's the best motivation in the world <laughs> to actually do stuff. It's how I wrote 20, uh, a second story in like 25 days, the first draft. It's because I was vlogging it and it was doing like an online challenge and I was updating TikTok every day for that. So I, I needed the accountability to, to work and to, to get into it. And I need, I need to get back into writing it now because I want the draft done by the end of February as well. So I need to actually get a uh, moving and a grooving on that because it's in January 20th <laughs> and I don't have that many days left. That's what's up. That's what's happening this weekend. Literally nothing else is going on. 
I have no plans. I'm so happy about it. Just a chill weekend to do absolutely nothing. Oh gosh, I do need to go grocery shopping at some point. I don't really wanna go grocery shopping today. We'll find out. Cause I do need, I'm so out of everything. <laughs> I should probably go today later. I should also get some stuff for like actual food, but it is already 4 p.m. I guess I could go now, get it all done and dusted. Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's up. That's what's going on. What did I get up to this week? I, oh my gosh, I need to tell you about this graphic novel because my friends, we have officially had our first five star of the year and it was a graphic novel. And it was not only just a normal graphic novel, it was a Green Lantern graphic novel. Who would have thunk, you know? So let me just sit you up here. So yes, you heard me correctly. A Green Lantern graphic novel. It is Far Sector by N.K. Jemisin, illustrated by Jamal Campbell. Five stars. This was expertly paced, expertly plotted. This was some of the best sci-fi I have ever come across in my life. And also it's just so beautiful. Like I took my time reading this, which is very rare for me in graphic novels. I very rarely do that take my time through it because it's just in my head I'm like it's just pictures I can go through it really quickly but like this one I took my time with it I really like looked at the images and like read all the narration because one of the best things about this book is that N.K. Jemisin like included narration on little like actual little bits and I know graphic novels do that they do include narration to like show you what's going on or like time passing or whatever but this narration was so interesting to me because we get so much of the actual character's voice through the narration and we got to know her through that. It was so cool and I, I loved it. And as someone who's never consumed anything Green Lantern-esque ever before, this was fine to understand, totally fine to understand because it's its own isolated story. Each of the 12 volumes within this bind up of the comics are all fantastic. Each one of them has their own little like mini story arc kind of situation. They were just really well done. I fucking loved this. Oh my God, guys, pick this up. It is so good. I had no idea that N.K. Jemisin had a graphic novel. I really didn't, but like she does and it's so good. It's so queer and just so beautiful. I, Jamal Campbell, their illustrations and color work are just, gorgeous like I can't even tell you how beautiful some of this stuff is like oh and the purples and the pinks and oh it just it was so good I'm gonna need to get myself a copy <gasps> my fridge just turned off okay so that didn't take very long but like stunning I love it oh my god but yeah first five star of the year in the Jemison's far sector I also did some scrapbooking which I probably will continue to do as well this, this weekend because it's cathartic and enjoyable and I spent my evening last night watching Critical Role Campaign 3. I'm trying to catch up because I'm very far behind. And so I decided to do three separate spreads. Ended up being four because <laughs> I did three different lake spreads for me and my friends. Three different like lake trips that we did to each other's cabins. And this one's to my cabin and I'm obsessed with this fully and truly pattern of it is amazing. And also I was like, I want to do the pets page. So I did the pets page as well. And I'm low key, like it's a mess, but I love it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to go finish recording chapter three and then I should probably go grocery shopping. So I think I'm going to do that. Cause I need, I was just thinking about like what I'm going to have for dinner. And I remember putting on my shopping list for this week, tortellini and chicken stock and like veg for soup. So I'm going to do a tortellini chicken soup. Oh, I'm so excited about it because like it's gross outside. What a better way to spend my Saturday than cooking soup a little later. So yeah, okay, finish chapter three and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm so excited, woo. -hoo. <laughs> but anyways, welcome to the vlog. I hope you're ready. Strap in, grab yourself something delicious to drink and nibble on, but we're gonna get back to it.
is a much later. It is almost 4 a.m. Welcome to 4 a.m. me. I just finished shortfall and I'm putting my clock back up on my wall <laughs> because I had to move it to record audiobook chapters today because, you know, I need to be able to not have in the background because it's loud. Stay. <laughs> but hi. <laughs> 4 a.m. See? Almost 4 a.m. And I finished Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett, which is the only reason I stayed up this late, to be real with y'all. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> I couldn't stop. We got to a point where, like, I was kind of reading it at the beginning, or reading it at the beginning of the night, like, listening to it on the audiobook, and just finding it, like, easy to listen to, but not really, like, super interesting. But once we got past that 50% mark, y'all, I just couldn't stop. So, I read over 420 pages today, at least, because I don't remember exactly what page number I was on. I, I know that I wasn't on <laughs> page 100, but I just couldn't put it down. So now it is 4 a.m., and tomorrow's going to be kind of ruined because of this, but it's fine. <laughs> it's Sunday tomorrow, so that's okay. Anyways, on that note, I'll chat to you tomorrow. <laughs> What's in the bag? <laughs> What's in the bag? Silly goose? Yeah, you're sitting on your bear. Don't worry about it. Yeah. officially almost quarter to three in the morning yep it's 2 38 a.m <laughs> left that for me i got caught watching critical role and from about 1 30 to, to now i've been like oh i'll just wait until a good moment to like break <laughs> in the narrative of the story and it just never happened <laughs> so Love that for me, but we're at a very interesting part in the narrative of Critical Role. Can be three, I should specify. Love Critical Role so much. Oh, I'm so glad I'm like back in it too. I've been missing, missing catching up on that. The only issue is that it steals my reading time and my writing time. But I can still hang out and do some crafty stuff if I want, which is what I was doing today. Um, as I was hanging out, I have officially my poor scrapbook. I was doing, I was doing the thing that that one person suggested on my video and removed like every eighth page up until a point. I'm just kind of doing it as I go so I remember like it's every eight pages. <laughs> but like, she's getting a little bit thick. <laughs> the spine is a little bit straining, but look how sexy that looks. <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love, I love when books start looking like this, especially like journaling stuff. But today, tonight I should say, I ended up doing a spread with my best friend and I. Um, this is Cass. She's my best friend from high school, which doing this and getting photos printed out of us just made me realize that I have no updated photos of us <laughs> together, except for some really awfully grainy stuff from like 2016, 2017 in the basement in my parents' house. And I like couldn't include that because it was so grainy. I was like, that's not gonna show up nice in, in photos. And I'm like, these here at the bottom were like the closest we could get because it was like on the beach. <laughs> but like, yeah, these are like the latest in this photo series is from 2015, which is when we graduated high school. <laughs> But I absolutely love this spread. I'm very happy with it. And I'm glad that it worked out this way. So this is what I did today. Previously, I've just been like tinkering, which is the best thing. Last night, did, was it last night I did this? I did Summer of Girlhood spread, which I kind of cheated a little bit and included some like book launch stuff for me because I just didn't have that many photos to use for this spread. But I used like the Barbie stuff. I love this spread so much. It just makes me happy. <laughs> just makes me happy because this is like 2023 was really the year of girlhood you know and just like enjoying being a girl and like appreciating the little things and anyways um and i also did this spread which looks a little empty to me but it's my friend's birthday um it's like a karaoke night 
type thing. It looks a little empty. I'll probably write more around it as I think about it. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Oh, I also did this last night when I was listening to Foundry Side or listening to Shorefall. I did a Christmas spread, which also includes New Year's and then Christmas from 2022. I quite like it. It gets the holiday theme across. Anyways, so yeah, the, the, the scrapbook is looking a little thick, but I love it. <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. And I don't have that many more spreads to do until I'm caught up. And then once I'm caught up, every once in a while, I'll just like decide to print off like a page of photos and do a spread. Like if my friends and I do something, um, I'll do a spread for that. That's the plan anyways. Fun facts with me. I've uh, today ended up just hanging out really. <laughs> I tried to start Lachlan's, the final book in the Foundry Side trilogy. Um, for the longest time today, the audiobook just wouldn't download because there is a problem with Kobo because I use Kobo as well for my audiobooks and it just wasn't letting me download anything like any of the audiobooks, not even specifically Lachlan's. It was just any of them on my account. So I did everything, <laughs> like repaired the account because there's an option to do that. I <laughs> deleted the app and re-downloaded it. I turned my phone off, turned it back on again. I waited an hour, tried it again. So I finally just reached out to the customer service and they were like, oh, like we're kind of fixing this issue. Just like give it a little while and we'll fix it. So I don't know what the issue was, but eventually it worked. So I started listening to the book at like three. But yeah, before that, I was just hanging out on my couch, just relaxing, which is the perfect Sunday. I'm truly the perfect Sunday. I've gotten just over a hundred pages done of Locklands and I'm ready for this series to be done. <laughs> I am intrigued and I'm entertained, but there's just, I just want to not be reading it anymore. <laughs> I just don't want to be reading it. I don't want to be reading it anymore. I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> so, and I think that's because I'm going to explain more of this in the actual series series video, but I think the reason why I'm kind of done with this book is that, or with this book series, is that I feel like we're not getting good character work in these books because there's there have been time jumps between each of the books. So between book one and book two, there was three years. And between, between book three and book four, between book two and three, there was not a fourth book in this series. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Between book two and three. Where there's eight years and we're missing out on so much of the possible world like the possible character building and the going through and processing and learning and becoming things and we're missing out on so much of the innovation not even just like these characters trying to figure out how to deal with the aftermath of what happened at the end of these books like these huge moments where they lose people and where like, things have happened and then they find out a bunch of stuff and like the end of the world is nigh and like it's midnight at 10 a.m like all this kind of stuff and they just jump forward eight years and we're just supposed to take that and i think that's what's kind of put me in a sour space with the third book mainly like today i was reading it and i was just like i just i wish we had gotten these eight years like i understand it's probably for a reason like to like build up the industry and like push our characters to a moment where they've like they're in the future now they've like been dealing with this for eight years they feel like they're not ready but they have to be ready because the war is coming etc etc but it's eight years there's so much that can happen in eight years and the second book shortfall is only like three days the timeline so it's like we're getting nothing of the characters in these books and we're not growing with them we are just getting them grown and that's what's bothering me that's what i really don't like about time skips in books unless it makes sense the only story i could think of that it made sense for this was the the poison war duology by sam hawk because book one and book two are many years apart or at least a couple years apart but like each of them have their own little like concise story that is it just it's stuck in there and there's nothing really else going on they are connected there are sh threads and stuff we follow the same characters but like each of them are so well done and they do stand pretty well on their own like it bothered me when i read red rising the red rising trilogy because book one and book two there's a between those two there's a big time skip but then from then on we just get the characters until the end of the books and there isn't a time skip between book two and book three so like we're getting the growth we're getting the changes we're getting all that kind of stuff which is my favorite thing i want to be with the characters in those low moments i want to see them change i want to see them grow i want to see their relationships change and their relationships grow and we're not and we just haven't gotten that at all with the foundry side series because at the beginning at the end of the first book you get like a like a sprinkling of sapphic 
from the main character and Berenice, from Sanji and Berenice. Book two, it's three years later and they're dating and they're like, whatever. And I'm just like, there's no romance here. Like there's nothing, they still feel like platonic friends until the end of the book, which is something that I talk about in that video. And then now we're eight years later and they're apparently wives. And I'm just like, we have gotten none of their relationship. We got three days of their relationship. And I am, I feel cheated of that and like the events at the end of the second book there's so much loss and there's so much change and there's so much that they have to deal with right after that the fallout of that and we get none of it we get none of it we just skip forward and like there's so many huge reveals at the end of that book and it was stunning and there was like this big moment change that like i don't I know that they ran at the end of that book like for safety's sake but I don't think they would have waited eight years like that doesn't make sense to me the eight year time gap does not make sense to me and I know I'm only 100 pages in but yeah it like the time gaps have soured it for me a little bit and I'm tired of reading these books <laughs> I'm tired of reading them and I just want to get into new and better things so that's kind of where I'm at um I think tomorrow I might listen to the audiobook of Cassandra Cause something grows heavy <laughs> don't know the name of the title something about salt <laughs> salt grows heavy is that what it's called i don't know because it's like less than two it's like a two hour audiobook and if i can listen to it at a fast speed which i do because that my brain just needs like supersonic speed i think i'm going to listen to that tomorrow to get a little bit of a cleanser before i keep reading Locklands later i'll just listen to the audiobook while i'm at work but anyways so i did read <laughs> i did read more of lock i started Locklands and read a little bit of it today before I went to mom and dad's for dinner and hung out there for a little bit before coming back home. And I'm just settling on my couch and deciding to watch some Critical Role. And I think I got through one and a half episodes of Critical Role, which is like six hours of Critical Role, because Critical Role is really long. They got long episodes. Maybe not even that. Maybe it was like five hours of Critical Role. As I was scrapbooking and just kind of dunking around on my phone, and it was just like, I don't know about you guys. Are you guys similar where you just like to, when you're taking time for yourself and taking time to recharge before the start of a week or on an, any given day, really, for me anyways, just taking that time to sit and do absolutely nothing and just become one with your couch is so essential. I don't know whether that's because I'm an introvert and I thrive on being alone <laughs> or just because I'm so tired all the time. I say that and it's literally almost 3 a.m. if not, yeah, it's like eight minutes to three. I'm so tired all the time and I think <laughs> I know the reason why I have to fix my sleeping schedule because the past two days I was up till four and I think yesterday I was up because my brain wouldn't shut up with ideas because Okay, I didn't say this in this video. I said it in my in my series series vlog. But upon finishing Shorefall, my entire brain cracked open. <laughs> and it was like, here, you've not been thinking about this story at all, but here have the entire villainous plot and the feeling that you want for book two of Sage's story. And I'm just like, it is 4 a.m. <laughs> don't have the energy for my brain to be this wide open and it was wide open and it was like shimmering with ideas and I just couldn't shut my brain up and it's not even because of it's like one very tiny specific element of Shorefall that opened up my brain for something that I want to do with Sage's story and now I can't like I've been unable to stop thinking about Sage's story all day and I'm like this is not <laughs> I love this, but also I need to be thinking about book three of Aramount first because I need to write that fucking book and I am having just the hardest time wanting to get into it even though I really want to get into it. Do you guys know what I mean? Like when you know you have to work on a story that like motivation isn't there or the inspiration isn't there, but like you still want to work on it though because like you want to work on it. Like I want to work on on book three so bad <laughs> like I want to get the story out I want to know the story I want to tell myself the story so that I can start making it better and I know the elements of the story in my head but there's just something blocking me so I think I gotta like actually start a vlog and like decode it and like figure out what's wrong and just actually do it I need to keep I need something to keep me accountable and a vlog is the best way to do it for me anyways but yeah so so a short fall opened up something in my brain and I've been uh thinking about Sage's story all day. Been a grand old time. Truly. Oh my god. And last night, like, yeah, it was like 4.30 or something because I was trying to go to bed and it was at four o'clock and I was like, okay, I need to go to bed. I need to shut my brain up. My brain wouldn't shut up, of course. And I kept thinking of more plot stuff that I needed to write down because I knew that if I just fell asleep, I wouldn't remember the plot stuff in the morning. So I did. I like rolled over and like typed in my notes app. Suddenly it was 4.30 and I was just like, okay, I guess I'm going to fall asleep before 5 a.m. 
So I got like maybe five, six hours of sleep last night and I'm wide awake now. Good Lord, my sleeping schedule. Yeah, I need to, I need to adjust it a little bit just so I can be a little bit more awake. <laughs> I have a full-time job. I gotta be awake, you know? So that was my day today. Very relaxing, very chill. Got a little bit of reading done. I gotta go to bed. I don't feel very well either, which probably isn't... Um, you're all yelling at me right now because I can hear you. I can hear you. I know that I would feel better if I slept. <laughs> but sometimes the brain just doesn't shut up, you know? Oh my god. I remember watching a vlog, one of my previous vlogs, because sometimes I like to pull up old vlogs, and it was like back when I was living at home with mom and dad. I was just like... <laughs> Oh my god, I stayed up so late last night. I was up till like 11, 30, 12. And I was just sitting here just like, Jen, it's not late. Honey, baby, sweetheart, you don't know what late is. And so I stay up till 4 a.m. Two nights in a row. And it's 3 a.m. now, so I need to go to bed. But anyways, my friends, that was my Sunday. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry for like the weird vibes this clip has been giving, but like today was a good day. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm just... I'm a little peeved with the Foundry Side trilogy right now. And also, I need to sleep. That's the main, that's the main thing. That is the main, that is the main issue. Anyways, my friends, I'll chat to you tomorrow for Monday. <laughs>